Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to evaluate crews less than 50 pod members in Agile Transformation Project using Power BI. The formula that we are going to be looking at today is called crew with less than 50 pod members. So this formula uses a combination of DAX functions in Power BI to calculate the number of unique crew names in a given data set that have fewer than 50 associated pod members. So why is this formula useful in Agile Transformation projects? By identifying smaller teams or crews that may need additional support or attention, project managers can allocate resources more effectively and ensure that all teams are working towards the project goals. So before we jump into the formula and look at uh, what are the different DAX functions that I have used in that, First, let me explain you the scenario in this particular report and then we will dive into the uh, calculation part. So as you can see in this particular report, so this is my uh, crew based uh, pod members. So within, uh, so here this particular bar chart is displaying two distinct crew names, which is data and analytics and the other crew name is HR delivery. And this data is representing the total number of members that are part of the individual crews. Now, as part of this particular report requirement, I would like to analyze within each of my crews, how many pods have members whose count is less than 50. So we all have understood from my previous video that uh, in an agile structure, we do have pods, so pods are nothing but the individual teams, which have a team size of ranging from five to seven. And then we have the stream. So this is a collective of pods together. Now let's try to show you like what exactly did I mean here? So as you can see here, we have two different streams with the total number of members, part of each of those two two streams now i'll turn on the drill down on this particular report and i will navigate to my hr delivery stream here now when i uh, drill down to this particular crew we can see that there are six different pods which are part of that particular crew and these pods have members associated with that particular pod as well and you can see the count of pod members within that particular pod uh, name right now what we are trying to achieve here is that within this particular stream and the pods we wanted to find out how many pods are having the pod members count which is less than 50 right so how many pods do we see here so we have one two three and four so there are four different pods within my hr uh, delivery stream that have the count of less than 50 members. So this is exactly what I would like to represent as my guardrail that I have used here. And now let me go back and uh, let me go back to this data analytics stream. So now when I go to this data analytics stream, I see that there are only two different pods of which each of those pods does not have or those have the board members which are above 50. So therefore, my resultant output should display it as null or maybe replace it by zero, right? Now let's see how this is doing. So as you can see here, the moment I've uh, drilled down to that respective crew board members, I could see that the value has now been updated to zero, right? And while I was in my prior stream, which is my HR delivery stream when selected, it has to display four different pods which has the pod members count less than 50 and therefore this particular card that we see here is also been updated dynamically and this is exactly what we are going to achieve and explain in this particular video so now without any delay let's dive into this particular exploration of the formula and understand how this particular function has been created so I will just go back to its previous state, the original state. And now for this particular formula, crew with less than 50 pod members, I would just select the calculation that I've written here. And let me zoom in a little bit so that it's easier for you to read. 
okay so here i have used a variable and uh, okay so let me first explain you each and every tax function that i have used in this particular complex formula so the first tax function that i've used here is the where function so here i'm defining a variable by the name crew less than 50. so what does this where function does so this variable function allows us to create a variable in dax and then we can use this variable to store a result of the dax expression and reference it later in the formula okay and in this formula the var function is used to define a variable name crew less than 50 which is as uh, which has the uh, calculate function that returns a distinct count of true names that have less than 50 pod members right so that is the overall function that we have written within my variable right so we have the calculate function here and it has a set of uh, nested uh, formulas as well like nested functions embedded but on a high level we have a variable defined and then the formula that we are using here is comprising of a calculate function now let's try to understand what is this calculate function and what is it trying to evaluate here so the calculate function is is used to evaluate an expression in a modified filter context so this function would take one or more arguments that defines the expression to be evaluated and the filters to be applied to the expression now in this particular formula the calculate function is used to count the distinct crew names that meet a certain criteria the first argument of the calculate function is the distinct count and that returns the distinct count of the crew names and then we have the second argument of the calculate function which is nothing but the filter function now that filter function is trying to filter the crew names to only include those with less than 50 pod members right so now let's try to understand what is this distinct count dax function and what is it trying to evaluate so the distinct count function is used to count the number of distinct values in a column or an expression and this formula is used to count the number of distinct crew names that meet the filter criteria right so first we have written a calculate uh, expression and that has got two different functions being embedded one is my distinct count which is trying to get my distinct crew names that are existing and then we also have the filter which would then be able to filter out the values which has the count of the pod members which are less than 50 from that particular structure right now then we have the function called filter so now what is this filter function doing like i said earlier this filter function is trying to filter a table based on a specific boolean expression so this function returns a table that contains only the rows that meet the filter criteria now in this particular formula the filter function is used to filter the values in the crew name column and um, crew name column to only include the crew names that have less than 50 pod members right and then we have the values function so this values function is trying to return a table that contains the unique values of a column so in this particular formula this function is trying to return a list of unique crew names in the crew name column all right and then we have the count function here within the calculate so this count function is trying to count the number of rows in our table um, so here especially it is trying to evaluate the count uh, it is trying to find the count of the number of pods associated with each crew name okay and then finally within my return statement i have used an if expression so this if function is uh, trying to test a condition and return one value if that particular condition is true and another value if the condition is false so here in this particular formula it is trying to 
return a value of zero if the crew less than 50 variable is blank which means that there are no crews uh, that are having less than 50 pod members while if this uh, if statement is not blank, like if the crew less than 50 variable is not blank, the value of the variable is returned as it is. So as we've seen earlier in the demonstration, right on the chart level. So we've seen that when I've selected the HR delivery uh, crew stream, uh, uh, HR delivery stream, we found that there were four different pods whose pod members were less than 50 and therefore we saw that four number being updated on a guardrail uh, a KPI. But when we selected the other stream, which is the data analytics stream, we found that this particular value has been updated to zero because it has no such pods that has a pod members less than 50. Therefore, by using this if condition uh, with respect to the is blank function, it is trying to evaluate and find that since there were no such pods with uh, less than 50, it has replaced the output value with zero. Okay, so this is all about this particular function here. So in a nutshell, uh, the formula that we've used here uses a combination of all these functions to count the number of crews that have less than 50 pod members and the count function is used to count the number of pods associated with each crew name while the filter function is used to filter the crew name column to only include crew names with less than 50 pods. The distinct count function is then used to count the number of distinct crew names that meet the filter criteria and finally the if function is used to return a value of zero if there are no such crews and the value of crew less than 50 variable if there are and that's how you count the number of crews that have less than 50 pod members using dax and power bi so thanks for watching this video on the learn at cloud analytics channel so be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Thank you.